Philippians 4, verse 8 says this. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Now, the thing is that the things that we meditate on, that we think about, uh, they become the things that we notice. It's like when you learn a new word and you realize that it's said in this movie or that movie, you start to notice the things that you're learning about or noticing um, the things that uh, are coming your way that you had never noticed before because you're learning, right? Well, whatever is at the forefront of your mind are the things that become um, significant in your, in your path. Well, Paul is calling us to be purposeful in what we notice. And that is noticing where God is alive and moving. Noticing the good things that are happening in our world so that we become people who gain gentle hearts and can speak to the hope that the world has. The thing is, as Christians, we often rally behind these causes that are actually counterproductive to our voice and our, and our ability to share the gospel. Instead, when we have the opportunity to share the gospel, we share an opinion piece that we have, something that we're really passionate about that actually is pulling away from the goodness of what God is doing. And so um, I just kind of want to end with this. If we do this well, we will be moving our way back to verse 4 in Philippians where it says, Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and, and the peace of God will transcend all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ. May you be filled with the peace that Christ brings.